Hey everyone, it's Andy here. It's another beautiful day and I've decided to go back to the spot in episode 363 where I caught a nice barra and a bunch of good cod. So I'm going to try a little bit different techniques, try for some different species but I'm going to start with the same lure again. So I had a link on the on the last video. So um, yeah, beautiful day and I reckon I should be able to catch, catch my lunch, cook it up on the beach and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Here's a nice bombing out in the middle of nowhere. Let's see what we can catch on that. Oh, straight away, yes! Oh. Oh, I think it's a trevally. Either a trevally or a clean fish. Oh, this must have been hanging off the other side there. Yep, little trevally. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Oh, you can see there's nothing out here except for that one lump, so that actually attracts the fish. Let's get this guy in. There we go. I'll just have a quick look at you. Look at the colours on him. I don't know if that's reflecting in that camera as well, but yeah, they have like a really um, like a rainbow iridescent glow in the right sun. So I'll let him go. Off you go, buddy. Yep, he's good. Let's try this bit of dirty water out here in the middle of nowhere. Could be fish sitting on it. Let's just wind it all the way down. Yep, that could have been a touch. Oh, that's not right. Look at that. <laughs> that fish is shorter than the lure. Look at that. That's a grinner. They're very aggressive, weird little fish. They're called grinners. And actually, if you have a look at that, if you can see that, that hook is actually in his mouth. So he attacked that, look at that. That is amazing. But yeah, they're called grinners because they've got this weird looking grin on their face. The lure is actually bigger than the fish and he attacked it. That is bizarre, I'm gonna throw him back now. But that's, yeah, interesting, interesting fishing. Oh, there's a nice big bomby sticking out here. The water's actually very clean. So the fish could be a bit spooky. That's big rock out there. Right over it. Let's see. Anyone home? Hello? Knock, knock. Anyone home? No? Oh, yes. Oh, someone is home. Oh, I was just about to give up then. Oh, little coral trout. That's pretty cool. Let's lift him in. Hopefully he doesn't fall off. That. These guys are so pretty. Let's have a look at you in the sun. Okay. Little coral trout. Beautiful. Just love these guys. But there we go. Hey. And you go back home. Hey, okay. off you go. Yep, he's good. Oh, that was a big coral trout. That could, oh, yes. <laughs> there was two, I think. Oh, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, I think there was actually two there. Oh, he's not bad. I don't know if he's legal size, but. Oh, he's still not ready yet. Get him up, lift you up. Ah, yeah, there was two coral trout came up then. I'll tell you what, he could be legal. Let's get a measurement on him. So he's actually released himself. Let's get a measurement on you, Mr. Trout. He is legal. 42 centimeter coral trout. Hey. Oh, I might have to take you as well. I'll cook you for dinner sometime. Hey. Beautiful. He's losing his colour a little bit there, but um, yeah. 
just amazing, amazing looking fish. Let's see, there was a couple of trout there. Let's see if we can get another one. I don't really want to take another one. I just want to catch them and let them go. I've set myself a, a two fish limit for the day. That's all I'm taking. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 get me into that. Oh, he had me in there. Oh, that's another nice trout. Boy, did he come from a long way away. Oh, this is a bigger one, but like I said, I'm letting him go. Look at the size of that. All right, if we get him up, we get him up. If we drop him, we drop him. Oh, look at the colors on that. That's, um, he's getting up towards 50. Wow, look at that. So when I let these fish go, it's because I want them to breed and I want fish stocks to be good. So I'm leading by example. So all those people who get upset about that fish just jumping in the water, please don't. It's for the good of everybody. So rather than wait to get home, I'm going to cook the fish up on, on the boat. I've got my trusty stove. I've got a couple little little bits and um, yeah, I filleted the coral trout earlier. But I'm getting really hungry and I'll probably get home after dark. So may as well have dinner now. So I've got my kitchen set up. Yep, it's on. So I've got basic ingredients, salt, pepper, bit of butter and my beautiful coral trout. Have a look how white that is. It's a beautiful meat. So um, in other videos I'll show you how to how I fillet fish but I don't need to show you filling fish all the time. Oops, I better get some um, butter into that pan. That's a little bit soft already. There we go. And um, I thought I'd show you this, this style of cooking here. If you look up, I'm in the middle of the ocean. It's a little bit rough. And this is, yes, yeah, my kitchen. Put the fish in there already. Put that butter all around. There we go. Nice. So I'm only going to eat half the trout. This is one side. The other side I'm going to take home and eat later. And we may as well season a little bit now. A little bit of pepper. There we go. And that one's ready to turn over. Yep, looks pretty good. And that one just needs a little more. So it's definitely not ideal, but nice being out here. The sun's setting over my shoulder. Fish is cooking. I can smell that. Oh, nice, nice way to spend an afternoon. Just look how delicious that looks. Oh, it's almost finished cooking. And yeah, my mouth is watering. You can't get coral trout much fresher than that. And that's how you cook coral trout on a boat in about oh, seven or eight minutes. Look at that. That's, that is fresh fish. When it flakes like that, that is, that is just beautiful. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. Hang on. I forgot the salt. Mm. Put a little bit of salt on there. But I tell you, fresh trout like that is just amazing. Wow. All right, let's try another bit, maybe a bigger bit. Mm. And look at it, it's, it's almost translucent in there. I don't know if you guys can see that clearly or not, but it really looks and tastes delicious. I'm gonna finish eating this. If you haven't subscribed, and this is your first video, you should really subscribe. I make these videos a lot. I have a, a lot of um, catch and cooks in the playlist. Check out the playlist at the end of the video. And even recommend what sort of fish, where I should go, how I should cook it. Mmm, that is delicious fish. Wow. Alright, that's it for me today. Just gotta go and 